Good afternoon and welcome to Vlogmas week three. Today is Friday the 15th of December and I am just about to go and get these roots done, which I'm very excited about. It's Barney's sister that does it for me. She's got her own salon, so I go there to get it done. And I'm just about to leave. My appointment is at half past one and it's about five two. Excited to have fresh blonde locks. Then tonight, Barney is out with his friends for like a Christmas boys thing, so... I have the evening to myself. Tomorrow, Barney and I are going to Portsmouth to do some Christmas shopping because he hasn't even started his and I've still got quite a lot to do. We're going to try and go ice skating as well. We really want to go ice skating this year and there is a rink in Portsmouth, so hopefully we're going to do that too. And on Sunday, we don't have any plans as of yet. I'm actually going to go and get these taken off because... Um, about a week after I got them done, I managed to rip one of my real nails off of my nail bed and it's been quite painful. So I'm actually going to get my acrylics taken off and I'm going to buy some stick on nails just from boots or somewhere like some Christmas themed nails. Because also I've seen so many cute like Christmas designs for nails, but I'm not allowed to get like patterns and stuff on my nails for work. So I wouldn't want to get them done like that, but I finish work for Christmas on Thursday. So if I get some stick ons, I can just take them off before I go back to work. Probably do some more Christmas shopping on Sunday. And on Monday, I have a there and back to Krakow in Poland, but not until the evening. It's quite a late one. And then I have three days of standby. Which I will talk you through what I could get called for nearer the time. But yeah, that's my week. And then I am done. I finish work. It's officially Christmas. So I am going to go and get these roots sorted out. I'll show you a before and after. Before after oh i'm obsessed guys it feels so good to have it done it's so soft the trim as well it looks very ashy blonde in this light which i love so i've just bought myself a stone baked margarita from co-op which i'm about to put in the oven galaxy minstrels for after but i thought i'd give you a quick show around of all of our christmas decorations so we've got this hung up in the kitchen i think this is from hobbycraft i want to say We've got our poncettia in the window. Up here, I've just got this grey, grey. This sleigh is a cheese board from Poundland. I've got the little gunk tray that says Christmas is coming. These little gunk salt and peppers are from TK Maxx, but because we use salt and pepper from like a mill, they don't work, so they're just decor. And then we've got our gunk gravy boat, which we got in the range. I have put our Christmas chocolates in the fruit bowl, but as you can see, there's not many left. Dining room, we've got our twig tree up, which my mum gave me. And then guarding it is Mr. Gonk. Love the table. I finally got these from a shop in Worthing. I can't actually remember the name of it, but I literally love them. The table runner is from the range you guys will probably know most of this if you've watched my christmas decor haul but some of it we have bought since i filmed that i've got these little snowflakes on the table that were from my mum my little led lights from amazon these gonks are from b&m we got them because they kind of match our table runner the only annoying thing is that they're blue and gold and that's blue and silver but we move on that's the table then we've got in the lounge we've got our curtain lights up which are tangled, that's really annoying. There we go, that's a bit better. Uh, my mum gave us these, so I don't know where they're from either. We also got, the sofa's not very tidy at the moment, but we got this gonk cushion from Robert Dias, a little reindeer tea light holder, some more snowflakes, and also the little gonk tea light holder. This is from Next Home, that's from mum, so I don't know where that's from. On the TV unit, I've got this little fake branch, which is from the range as well, I think. I've got this little reindeer, which is from my mum, and a little fake tree from White Company. In the hallway, I've got this little gonk, which I got in TJ Maxx. Got a Merry Cookie Bath and Body Works candle, and this little wooden gonk, which we got in a charity shop. Then the tree. I love it. Kind of gone for like silver, purple, blue, red. The tree fence is from the range. We've got another gonk down there. This little star is the decoration my nephew made me. Candy canes, chocolates. We've got little gonks hanging on the tree. 
This is my Nalia bauble. That's my dog who's no longer with us, but that's her bauble. Actually, love it. I just love being in here now. The lights off. It looks even prettier. Also, almost forgot our garland that we bought. So we bought the garland. It's actually navy blue. It looks black or green from here, but it's navy blue. Um, and we bought these little tartan bows to go on it. There you go. You can kind of see the navy blue. I've got these little bells to put on it. Got these bells as well, different ones. I also got these, which I forgot to put on, but I am going to do them at some point. Just little fake holly. But yeah, I thought that looks really cute. Like if you stand here and look through at the tree or if you stand and look through at the dining room, I think that's so pretty in our little archway. So I'm going to put my pizza in the oven and have a nice chilled out self-care night. Drive alone in December rain to play my favourite song. I see a snowflake melt on the deck I'm awful cold And longing for the holiday Counting days until you're here I've been waiting this whole year Dear Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night I know you may stop a light But together we're alright You know sorry that i did not vlog anything yesterday in fairness we didn't do a lot we literally went to sainsbury's did a food shop and i went and got my nails taken off in the afternoon i think i mentioned that i broke one of them and it was better for them to have a break so i have um bought some fake christmas themed nails to stick on for christmas but i'm not allowed them for work i'm gonna wait until thursday when i finish work for christmas to put them on so yeah, very sorry. That was very unvlogmasy of me to not vlog anything yesterday. Today's Monday and I'm going back to work. Not until this afternoon. I don't start until five past three. Just have a there and back to Krakow. But I don't finish until go on 11 o'clock, which you guys know I hate doing. It is about half past nine now. So I am going to start getting ready soon. I've just, I'm just sat having my cup of tea. Gonna write my mum's birthday card. We wrap some presents this morning before I go. I am running out of time now. Christmas is literally a week today. Probably gonna head off work at about 12.30, something like that. But yeah, I won't be vlogging anything work related today because obviously I'm not getting off the plane. I have three days of standby starting tomorrow, but I'm gonna do like a pack with me and let you all know what trips I could trips i could get called for tomorrow until then let's go and do a late there and back good morning it's 10 a.m i could say that i have slept in but i didn't i was awake at like 8 a.m this morning so i didn't get home until about half past 12 last night this morning should i say i didn't get to sleep for ages either so i've probably not had enough sleep at all considering i'm on standby tonight and i could get called to work through the night which won't be fun on this amount of sleep but oh well what to do before i go to work so I kind of needed to get up anyway. I'm just about to wrap up my best friend's Christmas presents and write her card. And then I'm gonna package it all up, go to the post office, send off that, send off my mum's birthday card, and also send off another package for another friend for Christmas. And I am gonna come home, uh, pack my case for standby and get ready. I'm not probably leaving until about half past three, in like five and a half hours, so I've got time. I need to send off these packages today because otherwise they're not going to arrive on time. I don't know if they will still, like I'm still a bit like, will they actually get there on time? Yeah, tonight 
Um, because I'm only on three days of standby, I'm only covering short trips. So I'm covering a couple of Dubais, a Bombay, a Kuwait, and a Bouja. There is also a lot of short haul going. There's a Manchester, an Edinburgh, a Glasgow, a Geneva, which to be fair, if I'm gonna get called, I'd quite like to be called for like a night stop in Manchester or somewhere in Scotland. Number one, it's a quick flight. And number two, it means I can go and do my Christmas shopping whilst I'm there, if I've got enough time. I don't know, I am in two minds about standby. I feel like if I don't get called, I'll be shocked because it's literally the 19th of December. Equally, these late ones, I normally survive them. The only two airport standbys I've ever survived have been both late ones. So we'll see, we'll see what I get called for. If I do survive, then I am on home standby tomorrow from 12.30 until 8.30. What I would actually quite like is to get called for a Manchester, have most of the day there tomorrow to do my shopping, come back tomorrow evening or whenever, and then maybe go somewhere else after, somewhere else that's quick, and then have one set to back on Thursday, finish nice and early. That's my morning anyway, so I'm going to get on with wrapping these gifts and head off to the post office. Hello, welcome to Pack With Me for Standby. So it's like... I don't even know what time it is actually. I think it's about half past two. So I'm leaving in about an hour. I've done my makeup, haven't done my hair properly yet because my new uniform is a dress and I have to put it on over my head. So I always like to do my hair after I've put my dress on so that I don't mess it up. What I need to do is pack this case um, and do my hair and put my uniform on and then I'm ready to go. I want to show you what I'm gonna pack. So as I mentioned, I am covering, all of the long haul destinations I'm covering are all warm destinations. But obviously all of the European places I'm covering are cold. So I'm taking a couple of different outfits. First thing I'm going to pack though is my spare dress. I've got my um, laundry bag in there as usual. Bottom I'm going to put shoes. So I'm packing my lime green, sage green um, Oswego Slop trainers. And then where are my summer shoes that I picked up? I'm going to pack my sandals from Primark for somewhere hot. I've got this little bag which I put all of my underwear tights and socks in so I'm gonna put that in there. So that's going in there. Okay I'm taking the classic bikini that I always take with me to every hot destination. It's just one from Shein. Right. I'm gonna take this long floral dress. I'm gonna take this little cord that I've got. It's just um, leggings and a top that I got recently from Depop. Um, I wore it in last week's vlogmas actually when i was in san francisco but it's just an easy outfit to put in my case if i don't know where i'm going also going to take my favorite gym set turquoise one from shein if i end up going somewhere and don't do a lot at least i've got the option to go to the gym i'm going to take my mini mouse pajamas no matter where i am i always want some cozy pajamas i've got my little woolly hat for if i go somewhere cold then i'm gonna try and fit this teddy coat in. I remember the last time I was on standby, I actually did vlog it, but I didn't end up posting it because I didn't get called at all for any of them. And I wasn't very well, and I wasn't very happy with the vlog because it was basically just me not getting called and crying about being unwell. I didn't end up uploading it, but in that vlog, I tried to pack this coat for standby and it wouldn't fit. I feel like I'm gonna have the same issue again, but let's try it. I feel like if I don't take my Minnie Mouse pajamas and I take this pajama top instead, then I might be able to fit it in. Cause I need to take a coat because if I end up going to like Scotland or Manchester or Switzerland, it's gonna be cold there. Like I'm gonna need a coat. I think most of them, if not all of the short haul that are going tonight, are uh, night stops because they're too late in the day for to leave for them to be there and back. So likely, if I do get called, I'm getting off the plane. Okay, I think that's gonna close. <laughs> it's closing, guys, good news. <laughs> so I'm gonna take that pajama top instead. I'm gonna put that in the front pocket and I'll pack my topper whilst I'm here as well. I've already got my passport and my purse and all my important documents in there. I've also already got my bamboo cutlery that i always take my travel plug and my cabin shoes my apron we'll pack my hot water bottle my jewelry box sunglasses just in case i go somewhere hot makeup bag liquids bag i think that's all i'm gonna take in my topper but yeah that is 
what I'm taking for standby. I almost want to get called for a cold place now because if I get called for somewhere hot and then I've got to lug that case around with that coat inside, I'm going to be so annoyed. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to finish getting ready now and then head out the door. So I maybe will see you at the airport. Maybe I'll catch up with you before, depending on timings, but wonder what I'm going to get today. just woken up after like nearly four hours of sleep it's two o'clock i went to sleep at about quarter past ten and i set a timer on my phone for two hours but i obviously woke up after two hours and turned it off because i woke up again at about quarter to two and i was like oh this isn't the time I set my alarm for. I was very tired. I said, didn't I, in that clip of me in my kitchen, I'm gonna regret getting up this early if I have, end up having to work through the night, and I did. We took off at about quarter past nine last night. I got called like seconds into my standby, by the way. I got to work really early. I got to the car park like an hour and a half before I started. I sat in my car for a while. I went to M&S, got some lunch slash dinner, sat and ate that, and then literally, my standby started at 6.45 and at 6.46 my phone rang and they were like, hi Megan, you're off to Dubai. And I was actually quite happy with that. I've done a Dubai before, some of you may know if you've been watching the channel for a while. I was here for my birthday last year. It's been one of those places I've always wanted to come back to but I didn't want to bid for it because I've already been. Like I don't want to waste a bid on somewhere that I've already been to. So I was very happy when she said Dubai, but yeah, we took off at quarter past nine. We landed at half past three in the morning and then got to the hotel at about, probably at about five UK time. Nine here, because they're four hours ahead. Had a bath in that lovely bathtub and then I got in bed and slept. But I've slept for a little bit longer than I planned to, but I obviously needed it because I, I don't even remember waking up to my alarm. It's all a blur to me. But it seems a shame to not go outside on a Dubai because it is a lovely day outside. I'm going to haul myself up, put my bikini on and go down to the pool for a few hours. Literally just like two or three hours. Then I'm probably going to come back up and have room service and have an early night. We get woken up at I think 7.20 tomorrow. It's 3.20 so it's an early pickup. It is a day flight back which is quite nice and I clear at about three-ish in the afternoon but because I've got to get up tomorrow and I've not obviously had a night's sleep last night I am gonna have an early night so I'm definitely gonna go to the pool for a few hours. From what I remember the pool is largely in the shade anyway and I'm not going down there to sunbathe I just kind of want to go outside as much as I could easily just lay back in bed and go back to sleep if I do that I will probably wake up at like midnight and then won't be able to get back to sleep I force myself to get up and go downstairs In a bizarre turn of events, I actually ended up going to the gym. I did also go to the pool. I went down for about an hour and a bit. I had a drink, um, 
but it was it was nice when I got down there because there was a bit of a breeze so it didn't feel too hot and when the sun kind of went behind the buildings the breeze made it a little bit chilly it wasn't cold by any means but it was just a little bit chilly so I was like I'm gonna go back upstairs it was like not even four o'clock yet it was just coming up for four o'clock I was like I can't start having my dinner and settling down now it's too early so I put my gym set on and went to the gym really nice gym this hotel as well is just so like amazing the staff are amazing like, i feel like a celebrity when i come here it's such a high quality hotel like just ordered room service and she answered the phone to me and knew my name like she referred to me by my name it doesn't sound like much but it's just little things like that i just think is such a luxury to get in a hotel um all of the staff downstairs open the doors for you get you towels you're literally waited on hand and foot i absolutely love this hotel it's definitely one of my favorites i'm always so lucky with the trips that i get called off for standby like i had a feeling that i was going to get called for a dubai but i wasn't like 100 percent sure but then when she called me a few minutes and i was like it's dubai and i was very happy about it the only thing that i struggled with was the fact that i barely slept and it was a night flight but it's fine i've napped now I've had a shower, I've got my robe on, and I've just ordered room service. I'm gonna get the Thai green curry, because it was a vegetable one, but they, one of the main ingredients is baby sweet corn, which I cannot stand. I literally hate baby sweet corn. It tastes different in Dubai, and I've made a mistake, but in the UK, I really can't stand it. So I thought I'm not gonna like that dish because that's like one of the main ingredients. I ended up going for a classic margarita pizza, like Pepsi, and I also got some ice cream. They do pints of ice cream. I got a pint of strawberry ice cream because I thought, not that my throat is sore, but you can probably hear it's a little bit croaky and I feel like ice cream will soothe my throat a little bit. But also ice cream is elite and I wanted some dessert. I'm very hungry, like I suddenly feel starving. I haven't really eaten since I had dinner on the plane at like maybe midnight last night. I have had snacks since then because I bought, um, I went to m and when I got to the airport yesterday to get some snacks for my standby, but obviously didn't end up eating them until I got here. Just like a little packet of crisps and some of the Colin the Caterpillar sweets from m and I had those when I got here like this morning before I went to sleep. So I've not actually had a proper meal for like, over 12 hours so no wonder i'm starving so i am gonna wait for that to come i will show you it when it arrives probably chill out then for the evening i don't want to fall asleep too early although i guess it doesn't really matter i'm gonna set my alarm for 7 a.m if i'm asleep by like 8 9 i might wake up before that we'll see i do feel tired like i still feel like i could sleep as you guys know i way prefer a day flight back than a night flight because it means i've actually had a night's sleep before the flight i am gonna Wait for my room service. I'm so hungry, so I hope it doesn't take long. Oh, oh my God, cannot wait to eat that. Got my Diet Coke. <laughs> wow, that's like, I didn't realize that that's like a full on tub of ice cream. Guys, don't judge me, okay? This girl's hungry. <laughs> Good evening, guys, Thursday. So sorry that I haven't spoken to you since last night when I was in Dubai. I ate my food, I put Harry Potter on, I fell asleep at half seven, all was going great. And then I woke up at like half past eight and I could not get back to sleep. Like I was still awake at half past two in the morning, which is technically only half past 10 in the UK. Still, given the fact that I had to get up at 3 a.m. UK time, 7 a.m. Dubai time, I woke up this morning very cranky and I was not in the mood to catch up with you all at all. But I'm fine now. Um, the flight was fine. It was so chilled in comparison to the flight out. Landed on time. I got home about an hour ago now. Yeah, about an hour ago at quarter to five. The shower. I've washed my hair for the first time since I had it done. It's so soft. I literally love it. I've just blow dried it as well. That's why it's quite bouncy and looks very styled but i am done for christmas officially to celebrate we are getting a chippy tonight for dinner when barney gets home he'll probably be home in about less than an hour now and then tomorrow i need to start cleaning my house in preparation for my mum's arrival finish my christmas shopping no i said i'm gonna vlog friday to friday 
but to me it seems a bit pointless for me to do this and then speak to you again tomorrow morning just to end the vlog so i'm actually gonna end vlogmas week three here guys i really hope you enjoyed it vlogmas week four will obviously include christmas eve christmas day boxing day all the christmas festivities make sure you don't miss that i'm gonna do a wrap with me as well i'm gonna wrap all of my friends and family's christmas presents because I can do it in Vlogmas week four because by the time it goes up, everyone will have had their presents already. That's probably how I'm going to start Vlogmas week four tomorrow. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure you are subscribed. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.